Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video of modifying the M3. So guys, I've been working on trying to get some things together for this M3 and one of the things is you guys want it to get louder. I'm trying to work with some other companies to get a full exhaust for this car. I'm trying to do it in the most financially responsible way. So give me some time on that. But in the meantime, I will be doing uh, just a simple muffle delete or a resonator delete or a full straight pipe. You guys let me know. That's something I can definitely do. It's very cheap. I, it's completely affordable. I could definitely do that for you guys in the meantime. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to smash the like button. If we can get this video to like 600 likes, the next video I promise will be a muffler delete. Like no doubt, I will go down to the muffler shop and we would just cut those things off. I don't care if it's $400 to get the from, if you want a full straight pipe or if you just want a muffler delete, whatever that sounds best for you guys, I'll do it. So just let me know, 600 likes guys, we will do it. I feel like I'm kind of selling myself short because you guys have smashed the like button so many times up to a thousand. But you know, 600 because I know how much you guys want it. So uh, yeah, meantime, it's not about a muffler delete in this video, guys. We have a complete custom steering wheel. This looks absolutely insane. It's got the red stripe leather on top. It's got Alcantara all the way around, custom hand grips, custom M stitching all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see that. Flat bottom M, you know, Alcantara trim. I wanna give a huge shout out to Ozzo Auto Wheels. They're the company that I partnered to work with for this video, so shout out to them for working with me here. If you guys wanna check out the wheels, the link is gonna be down in the description. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and install it. But actually, before we do that, I do have something I did place an order for, so it'll come in the same exact day as this steering wheel, which is today. So let's go ahead and check the mail real quick and see if it came. All right, guys, looks like we have it. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Uh, complete change in events just now. So basically, I placed an order for all these push buttons and all these M buttons so I can, you know, put it on my car, show you guys how they look, and put it on my website so you guys can check them out. I placed a huge order, like over a thousand dollars worth of stuff, and um, and he marked it as delivered. All the items have the exact same tracking number. I just opened up the package on camera, thankfully. I opened up the package and it shows there's only three push buttons. Far from how much I ordered. I ordered so many so I can have it on my website for you guys. Easy access from the United States. So instead of you guys having to wait from China, you have to wait like a whole month and a half. I basically waited a month and a half for this stuff to get here. It says delivered and it's not even here. So the, the, the seller told me he sent it all out. I see nothing. I'm going to wait till the end of the night, but that's really irritating. But anyways, we're going to try to stay positive. Worst comes to worst, I just get my refund. Luckily, I have the unboxing in the video, so I'll just show eBay that if they don't believe me, thinking, you know, I unboxed it, kept it, and saying that I didn't get it. So luckily, that played out perfectly. But anyways, let's go ahead and install the steering wheel. That is something I'm very excited about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it in. Okay, the funnest part is getting this airbag out. Gotta get a giant nut to uh, pretty much get this bolt out right here. All right, guys. So I just want to show you guys the before real quick. So this is my steering wheel before. Just got some trim, you know, peeling right here. You can go ahead and wrap all this if you want. Like people just do that, but for some reason, for I like the OEM look. I like how this is equally spaced out. When you wrap it, typically you have some like issues around here. Um, so I don't like that stuff over here. Slight cracking. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not too big of a deal. Slight cracking right here as well. Uh, but yeah, you feel it. You just feel it. Sight cracking up here. It's just wear and tear. This is like this isn't the lowest mileage M3. It has like 96, but it ain't high either. So it's worth being taken care of. Yes, and see all the red accents. It's gonna look so sick with the stripe. And eventually, when I get the M button. Um, but yeah, without further ado, it's just oh 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 dear. It looks like I may need to unplug something. One second. All right, guys. So yeah, before, after. So this just looks a lot more cleaner. It's got the grooves, got the red line there. It's got a flat bottom, not too crazy a flat bottom to where it's not really usable. This is definitely usable. And I'm gonna go ahead and just take out this trim real quick, swap over the buttons. I wish the M button came in today so then I could just do it all at once. But so we're just gonna swap over the buttons and we should be good to go. So let's just do that real quick. All right guys, so I just moved the buttons and everything over. It's looking amazing. So all I need to do now is move over the airbag stuff. Just a slight bolt there. Disconnect from there, move it over. So yeah, let's just get to that real quick. All right guys, just went ahead and removed my M3 wheel, putting on this new custom steering wheel. <laughs> if you guys are excited as I am, stay tuned. I'm about to slap this in right now. This always looks so cool when there's no steering wheel here. Go ahead and put it back in. 
guys, this is looking so good, dude. So good. I can't wait to get some pictures of this. Oh, my lord. <laughs> no way, dude. This thing, I'll have to show you guys in a second. One sec. Oh, my god. This car looks like a million bucks. Oh, my god. All right, guys. You guys are not ready for this. Oh, my god. What the hell? That was the only thing that looked bad in this interior. The rest of this interior is absolutely mint. Even these seats. That's why, like, the only thing that was kind of picky on was this. And once they reached out to me, I was super excited. Check that out, guys. Oh, my God. I cannot wait for that M button to match that push button. It's going to look so good. The red stripe. Guys, okay, we're going to have to take some pics. I'll show you guys a few pics right now. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading. If you guys enjoyed those shots, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and get the car out, get some Taco Bell, you know, why not? So at the same time, as we're getting some food, on a positive note, we also get to drive the beast. I'm super excited for that. So for any of you guys who wanna purchase my M-Wheel from me, I'm gonna have this on my, pretty much just hit me up on Instagram and uh, let me know your offer. And uh, if it's fair, I'll let it go. I don't know our long wants to buy it or Jonathan might wanna buy it, but if you guys want it first, I'll sell it to you guys first. So let me know on Instagram. If you guys want the original M3 wheel. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the shots, get ready, because we're about to go inside and drive it. Meantime, let's set the car warm up. So let's jump in the car. Oh my lord. Clutch in. My god. That is insane. Wow. I'll just go ahead and move this tow hook. Come on. Out you go. Just like that guy, strap is out. So strap is gone. I'm gonna have to just get a cap and fill that in right there. No big deal. But the front one, I'm gonna keep it there just because I honestly love how it looks. So for those of you guys who are bashing on the front, that's gonna stay. The rear one's off though. Now I gotta figure out how to get out of here, but uh, I'm not moving the Corolla, so I'm gonna finesse my way through. All right guys, I know I should be getting a GoPro, but uh, yeah. Hopefully we'll do that eventually, but oh my lord. Well, how? How the fuck I'm supposed to feel when all my friends turn their back? How the hell I'm supposed to trust when people out here setting traps? Guys, this feels so good, dude. No way, man. This doesn't feel real. This feels so good. All right, guys, so now that we put the steering wheel in and it looks beautiful as hell, I don't know if you guys can tell, you can see the red stripe, oh my lord. I didn't think red would look nice. I was trying to go with more of a yellow or white, like white with like white accents, white cage. That's something I was thinking about for the inside, maybe down the road, but as of now, the red is really looking good. I'm really enjoying it. Don't mind that, we're still working on that. But yeah, in the meantime, um, it's a mess out here. It's an absolute mess, and uh, I really wanna get this stuff cleaned up, so uh, let's do that, let's do that. So as you guys can see, a bunch of stuff here, bunch of stuff over there that I don't even need anymore. I'm just gonna start getting rid of things, and a lot of boxes and random stuff. So stuff for the E46, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the E46, so you know, we can clean up some space up in here. My dad's things, I'll put it in a corner. My things that belong for like packaging stuff, so I'm gonna go upstairs. My wheels and everything, I'll stack it back there. Clean off this table, organize this, do all that. For you guys, it'll be about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. For me, it's gonna be about four hours. So yeah, I'm estimating about that. So yeah, pretty much all this stuff is finally organized. Got all my tools there. Uh, all the oil filter changing things, jacks, cooler, just a couple wooden blocks, my vacuum, just you know, stuff like that. All my wraps, all that stuff organized. Finally, this table is pretty cleared up. Uh, how to put my fan right there, didn't really know another place to put it. These two chairs are just being, they're just looking retarded, just taking up room for no reason. But yeah, ended up packaging up a couple things up there, put it up there. And then finally in here, you can see parts, some tools, all the liquids and stuff. Uh, all my tools up there, looking very organized. So yeah, very hyped about that. Finally, there's some walking space up in here, which is really good. And then the last of all, I'm gonna take all these boxes up to my room. Shout out to Erlon for hooking it up. These boxes allow me to get out some things to you guys faster and cheaper, so I don't have to waste money on extra boxes. So shout out to Erlon for that. Erlon, yep. Shout out to you, my guy. Uh, basically, your boy's over here sitting on his bed. What is going on? What 
Let's go. Oh, no one got a haircut. Yeah. Surprised. Um, so yeah, basically we're here at the end of the video. I'm gonna be talking about the giveaway winners in the next video, so stay tuned. The next video could be an exhaust video. If you guys can get this video to 600 likes, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you guys are wondering about the paint job, when that, when is that gonna happen? Next video, we'll address all that stuff as well. So yeah, guys, the next video can be completely lit. Just make sure to smash that like button. But without further ado, I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. Cop a hashtag save BMW decal if you guys want to join the crew. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have words.